Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Oh, baby, we coming in <laughs> <laughs> with today's Power Book for Force, episode five. Before we get into the episode, you know we always gotta give you the deets on the shirts. Mine, I think it's from Target. Yeah. Here's powerandblack.com. Yes, Use my code Lynette, L Y N E T T E, saves you 25% off. Yes, indeed. Let's go ahead and get into the coolery of this week. This was an excellent episode it was. today, man. Highly, highly enjoyed it. So, we know we pretty much coming up off of uh, last week. We knew when Tommy killed Tatiana. All hell was going to be breaking loose. So we first thought off that we know that Claudia wants to get these drugs in the hand of Tommy. So he, her and her fashion is always cutting him off. Yes. And she ends up kissing him with the drugs on her lip. And this is the best hide that Tommy has ever had. I've never had. He went back and told Liliana, he said it's clean. He no said, crash. Yeah, no crash. No jitters. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, is that what Coke do to y'all? But, but it reminded me of him and Holly used to get him fucked yeah, up all the time. Yeah. I was like, Lord, are we going <laughs> to get a Liliana and Tommy in this episode? I really thought we were getting there, but we right. didn't. He won't let her try none, but he wants her to figure out what what's in this skit. So, so, they can they can, so, they can, so they can recreate that jump. So we're going to find out if she's going to be able to recreate it. Because at this point, she said everything I put on it, it keeps on falling apart. I don't know what this skit is, which we already know is a freaking uh, a weight loss pill mm -hmm. that failed with the FDA. This episode, we find out why that black cop keep on riding diamonds so hard. Yeah, I'm glad we got that. Yeah, yeah. So come to find out that his sister was on the drugs that CBI sell. So that's why he's on Diamond the way he is, but Diamond let him know, hey, I know that you're working with the Flynn. But but pause. It was bad drugs. So this kind of takes me back to like when Kanan cooked up the bad drugs and had everybody on the streets into a tizzy because he was killing all the people in the drug houses. This kind of what it reminded yeah. me of was that old boy and CBI and them had some bad stuff on the street and they immediately <clears throat> pulled it off the street, but we had a few yeah. people in the mix. That ain't never going to be right because of the drugs. So, in this episode, also, uh, Walter Flynn is still on his BS. Because he had Pauly to follow Vic to where he was taking pictures of Vic when Vic was showing Gloria where he's planning on um, building their dream house. Because he ended up buying some land. And now she and her feelings. So, I was like, okay, Vic is back in. Mm -hmm. But until we got back to the house, Vic ended up confronting Walter about it because... Walter decides to go over and pay Gloria a visit to let her know that, hey, it's Vic, pretty, as you, pretty as you are, Vic is never going to wake up and see you, and you are never going to wake up and kiss my grandkid. I said, you ain't either, because you're about, yeah, to be, about, um, be push, yeah, you're about to be pushing our flowers, so you're not going to kiss them either. Paulie, this episode, tried to talk some sense into Walter to let him know that, hey, you need to make this thing right with your kids before it's too late. Right. Because we remember in the last episode that he ended up visiting his son. Under that, a real that's, life. Yeah, that, that needs to go to rehab. <laughs> but he was like, it's too late for him. But it's not too late for your kids. Mm -hmm. So I thought that... that it kind of resonated a little bit. A but little bit. Until he went over there and talked to Gloria. And it was like, oh, yeah, hell what you said. So, so Vic was pissed off and came back and confronted Walter about it. And Walter ended up smacking the skit out of Vic. Basically, all he did was reunited um, Vic's love and affection and everything yeah. that he wants to do with Gloria and leave all of this skit. Yeah. At least your structure of this skit behind. Right. And so when Cla Claudia was in the room too, and Claudia could see how hurt that Vic was, so she decided, okay, I'm gonna go and try to make this thing right. So she went and talked to Gloria and told Gloria, this is what I did. I'm gonna transfer the land that, that Vic just bought you into your name that's worth 2.8 million. You can take that money and that's a, that's, new. that's a soft fall and, and, and move on with your life. But, but you just can't be with my brother. Right. And I, at first, I was taking it wrong, but I thought about it. I was like, Claudia knows that this ain't ever going to happen. With Vic alive, with Walter alive, or Walter dead, Vic is never going to be able to have a, a peaceful relationship with Gloria because of the color of her skin. 
But so, what Claudia don't know is daddy is on his way at until Gloria and to, spilled yep. the beans <laughs> yep. about, uh, I know something about you. You went to Cribbrook. <laughs> it's a private school. Yeah, so yeah. So it's kind of crazy that she had to find out from Gloria that her daddy was sick. Yeah, because she was like, Gloria was like, you're nothing like your father. You're actually worse than he is. I was like. Dang, that's kind of yeah, harsh. Yeah, she is. She, she is. Yeah, she, yeah, she, 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 she uh, forced to be reckoned with now. Yeah, she's a straight shooter now. Yeah, she is. In this episode, Tommy convinces Diamond and Vic to go after the Serpents to take their pipeline. And at first, I didn't think they were gonna go with it because Diamond was like, first of all, you ain't got the manpower. Mm -hmm. So Diamond ended up going along with it, and Vic ended up going along with it, and Vic ended up bringing his man along with him too. But the answer the whole was that um, Diamond convinced Jannard yeah. <laughs> to come on in with it as well. And I said, hold on. We don't really trust Jannard right now. Yeah. Because yeah. he got a thing against Tommy because of his brother. Yep. Then is he going to use this as an opportunity <clears throat> to get close enough? To take Tommy out. Or his brother. Because I really don't trust him at this point. Right. Because we saw an episode where he was like. Tommy is in the middle between him and his brother. Coming together like this with CBI. So I was like. Oh. So that's the issue. Is that he wants. So Janard actually want him and Diamond to be to doing. To roll together like to him together. and Tommy are. So maybe it's really not about position. But it's about me and my brother doing this thing together. Yeah. So we got and this white guy. boy. And this yeah. white boy is messing all that up. So they decided to go forward with the plan, and it looks like they looked like they had it until Elijah got shot, yeah. and that's when the game they you changed. could tell you could tell the that that uh, Janard was over it. They going through and they shoot and they shot everybody except for Merkovic, but we know Merkovic had Liliana. I don't know what the hell that. <laughs> I don't know what the hell she made her. She Still, got the Terminator. She pissed me off because Tommy told her to stay low. Yeah. Don't go nowhere. Don't <laughs> touch these drugs because <laughs> this is a high that you ain't never had before. <laughs> Just keep on working on the batch I gave you. Try to figure out what's going on with it. And so that we can recreate it. Now she decides she wants to take like um like he said of on um the hangover. <laughs> you know, take a little bump, you, you know, <laughs> you die, you come back. No, <laughs> she went and wandered out in the uh -huh. streets and got her a kid now. But at first I thought she might have OD because she was Me too. she was hearing a heartbeat like Craig on Friday. But I was <laughs> like, it's gonna be over for you. So uh Merkovic got there, got her, and ended up breaking her finger. And asking her where is Tommy, and she ended up giving him the finger with the, the broken finger. I was like, this this chick ain't. What, what I is say, this wait finger? a minute. <laughs> I won't trust the Tatiana. I mean, Liliana at first, but you might got me on this one because because yeah. you know us when you start doing bodily harm, we talk. <laughs> right. So in the after they got finished, Tommy and them got finished killing the Serps. Um, he get a call from Merkowitz about Tatiana about. Liliana. Uh, Liliana. Too many honors right yeah. now. And he was like, Tom was like, okay, now that we finished this, we need to go get her. And they was like, ah, we already done, done our job. Diamond we said we did our job. But you can see Janard, like, uh, you can see Janard was looking like, was like, but early in the episode when they had did the split 33, 33, 34, with CBI getting 34%, and when Janard asked Tommy, why did you do that? He said, I'm just doing the right thing. And you could tell that that had an impression, little, yeah. an impression on on Jannar. But because Elijah got killed, that changed the game because we saw that when Tommy went to go and and rescue Liliana, at first we thought that Jannar rolled through to, to save Tommy. But as we kept winding back, no, he went through there to kill, kill Tommy, Tommy for Elijah getting killed on that deal. Because when you think about it, everybody lost a man. Yeah. In that shootout. Yeah, they did. Vic lost his right-hand man. Yep. Janar let, um, lost his right-hand man. So what else is there to do? Take out Diamond's right-hand man, which is Tommy at this point. Right. So I was like, it made sense. Yep. So now, um, after that part with um, Janar coming through, shooting at, at Merkowick and Tommy them, at, by, right in front of Tommy's house... So I'm like, where is this going to go now? Yeah, because Tommy was shooting back yeah, and was Liliana shooting. was like, who was that? And Tommy yeah, because like, Liliana ended up getting shot too. Because it was a whole nother vehicle. And at first I said, is that Vic's vehicle? Yeah. <laughs> I said, they still fit <laughs> vehicle and trying to set him up. <laughs> but don't forget, after Jannard rolled through trying to shoot at Tommy, 
He done burnt up the vehicle. Yeah. And looking real crazy in the Yeah, he looking crazy. But here's the thing. Janard, I'm going to need you to get your skit together. Because you about to be on the other side of history when it comes to this drug game. You're going to go from being the man, the king on top, to being the king under a bridge if you don't stop snorting your product like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to really see a problem with Janard. Yeah. Yeah, because even Elijah was looking at him like, like God, darn, man. You need to slow your road. <laughs> yeah. But but once again, Tommy is still impressing me with these boss moves. That Tommy was able to be smart enough to get all three of these crews together. to come together to go after the Serpians, the people that you don't F with. You don't F with them to convince them to do that. Sounds like Walmart. So Walmart it, comes into town yeah. and just get everybody and gives everybody and they just take over. <laughs> Hey, take over. So I'm still here for it. So I can't wait till next week to see how this thing will unfold. Because we saw in the episode that JB saw a picture with him and Tommy. And so where is that going to go? Because yeah. we saw in the trailer that JB was like, tell me the truth. So we're going to see where that's going to go. Because it, go. it seems like I, as further, far, every time JB starts to dig, he find more and more bull skit mm -hmm. about some skit that Kate did. Uh, to them. So once again, man, this was a good freaking episode, man. Let us know down in the comments if you enjoy, enjoy the episode. And we're going to catch y'all next week straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Two down. Holla. Holla. Boom.